Hey, buddy. So, let's see. There's Kenia. We are going to do a video this morning. Um, kind of an updated video. It's been a really busy six weeks with Jim working long hours here in Santa Cruz. And then here in the forest and the, and the mountains of Santa Cruz, um, there's been, you know, which we're in their area, we're in their territory, mountain lions, bobcats, and coyotes, you know, and they're hungry. So Jim has really had to ramp up, um, well, it's actually been the last couple, I don't know, maybe three days or so, work on adding some, um, to the, to the sanctuary, the sanctuary, the enclosure, whatever you want to call this, catio slash, you know, chicken run slash rooster area. Um, so we're going to give you a tour. Let's see. Today is, let's see. Today is June. Oh, goodness. It's, it's Wednesday. So I think it's the 18th or the 19th. Um, it's about 1030. I just had one cup of coffee. Um, I did feed the animals and um, I was up at 5, 530 this morning for a couple of hours. Because the ramps are so new, the um, additions, um, I wanted to make sure that the, the cats could get through. So I'll show you. So this is all connected to the garage. Um, and actually, yeah, Kenya is in the garage right now. So this is, this is our garage in there. And we've got, you know, of course, you know, their, their play area. So there's, there's Ewok. There's cat number one. We have three cats, four roosters. And, um, I believe like 16 chickens, 16 hens and an Oliver. There's Oliver. So as you walk out, um, we've got two gates here and we, you know, normally we would let the cats out, you know, but Oliver, come here, buddy. Come here. Come here, buddy. Um, again, you know, there's coyotes and things like that, that people are seeing in the day, in the daytime. So, um, this gate opens the same over here, you know, and actually the squirrels are just playing in the forest right now. I heard them earlier. Let's see. So see, there's our backyard. This is our backyard. And that's why anything can be lurking back there. There's my deck. So, um, so yeah, so we, we had to have this enclosure built. It's like a big zoo. Um, cause this is my backyard and, um, it goes back all the way. Like, I don't know, it's almost like two acres. All the way around from the front to the back. So you never know what's back there. And, um, you know, so Jim kept, keeps this kind of mode and we get to walk around and get our steps. Actually, the cats were laying back here and then the neighbors begin to tell us about mountain lions and spottings. So this is the enclosure from the outside. And what Jim did recently was he added the top shelving for the cats um, because uh, they don't like to be down with the chickens. And there's Olivia with the chickens. <laughs> so there's the hens. So this is the outside of it. So, of course, it's connected to the house. So, uh, so it goes all the way around. And there's two hen areas in there because if you don't know it, uh, hens fight it's like children in the play yard, in the playground. So that's completely enclosed. It's all wire and netting from top to bottom. It's animal proof. So, you know, the wild animals can't dig and get in the enclosure. Um, so, so of course there's the house, 
people walking, neighbors walking. So if you can see, so then we've got the chicken coops. So they come out every morning, the, the chickens come out and they have their, their yard. And what Jim did was he continued the shelves or the tunnels for the cats and then he made oh, hey, Oliver. Um, a ramp where they could climb and um, the chickens have their roosting posts and there's the other gate to the big there's two hen yards there's a smaller one and a bigger one um, you know because we have I think six hens and one rooster in here and the other one we have two roosters and the rest of the hens you do the math so this is our yard there's a road down there where we have other neighbors and we get to walk and but we're in nature <clears throat> then I all of a sudden um, the hen, my rooster started picking on one of my baby rooster who turned a year old so we then had to buy this and Jim wrapped it around so that it was animal proof and he put another house in there with a red electric automatic door so the rooster at 7.30 in the morning he can come out and he's in his enclosure but he doesn't want to be in that enclosure so within an hour or two I get him out and I and he gets to walk around in this enclosed little makeshift yard where I have compost um, but he has to be supervised since we have, you know, um, bobcats and things that just literally walk right across here. So, um, that's kind of the whole setup. In the meantime, we planted um, some sunflowers late, but we planted them. And so he gets this, rooster gets this big yard. Also, when I have time... We open this and the, the hens come from their area and they come and they gather here and they love to just be out you know, grazing. Um, but Welcome to the Santa Cruz Mountains. So this is Rooster's home. Well, I call him Rooster. His name's Blackjack. And I water and sit out here with them. This just is a temporary, like... It will prevent if a mountain lion came up, you know, I have at least 30 seconds more <laughs> versus nothing. And there's Oliver getting some sun. Come here, Betty. Come here. Oliver here. Come here. Oliver, come here. Come here. And then this is also a little yard for him, even though he's an indoor dog. Um, he loves to come in and steal the chicken food. And I get to collect eggs here. We've got fruity hens right now, which means they want to sit on the eggs. So every day I have three hens that I have to take out of here and put them back in the yard because they want to be a mama. And we do not need any more chicks. So these are the two broody hens. And so after I do this video, I'll go ahead and remove them gently and collect their eggs because if we didn't do that we'd have baby chicks in a, in a few weeks and then I've got Blondie in here who's been broody yep there she is and so these are fake eggs here in a tennis ball and I have to get her out and put her back in the yard so so you stay there and that helps mama it's really good to have, like when Jim's home, um, it's really good to have a second pair of eyes because I can be watering, I can let the girls, the chickens out here. Um, if I let them out here, a hawk can come get them. Um, I actually feed a raven that comes and watches over and she chases the hawk away. So I feed her. She gets to eat whatever she wants also here in the yard. We throw scraps. We have doves that come. Um, all kinds of baby birds. Like I throw scratch out. And this is full of, you know, compost and worms and 
we you know we water it down every day every other day and then rooster this is the one that they beat up so he's kind of like my pet but for months I was letting him walk around the front yard without any supervision yep buddy and um, that's kind of dangerous. I don't want um, a mountain lion to take him. So he kind of gets upset, but I leave him in here until I have time to go sit out with him. And then I can let him out with the other hens and they actually get along in the yard. We call that the rooster yard. We call that rooster's house and rooster's yard. And then this, this is my plant area, which I already had one cup of coffee. I, I want some more. And um, it's a lot of this has kind of really dried up because I haven't been paying attention to it. Um, so it's not where I want it to be. But I have had some of these plants for, for a few years. Um, and so, um, or actually we brought some of them from, from Vacaville. There's Olivia. So the cats are getting a lot of exercise. They get to come up here and they have their little cat scratch. They've got the shelving, they've got shade, they've got plants. And then again, Jim opened that up. So they get to go straight over and which has helped me immensely. And then I throw seeds in here. So this is like, this is cat grass. There's some sunflower seeds. There's, there's some stuff for the chickens. You know, um, uh, yeah, there's Ewok. He, he pulled an all-nighter. Good job. Did you catch any mountain lions, Betty, last night? Hmm? Oh, yeah. And there's Olivia. And there's Rooster. Hey, buddy. You had peanuts this morning. Yeah. Yeah. You want more peanuts? Don't try to round up Olivia. He tries to... Okay, so that's why we made up shelves. Go up. Go up. And if I don't have time to visit with the hens, I can just throw just throw them food. Hi, Lucy. Do you want to come in with Mama and go up, Olivia? No, you guys can't go out. They accidentally sometimes the hens will actually uh, um, we leave this gate accidentally open, and the hens will go through and just destroy my my plant area. So, I'm going to get them some, some green, some watermelon, um, but this is all covered in netting, and, um, good morning, Noah. There's plenty of places to roost. There's Olivia, she's going to show off. Um, this is the cat door from the catio to the chicken -o. <laughs> The chickens roost on here. There's Olivia. She's going to give us a demonstration because she loves to be with Mama. The cats sleep up here. I'm sorry, the chickens sleep up here. There's Olivia on cue. The chickens roost over here. So there's a lot of cleaning that always needs to be done every couple of days. There's so much poop, you have to scrape it off. The, the chickens sleep here. I'm gonna dig for worms for them. Uh, the chickens actually get way up here. So Jim had to make higher shelves. Then I went and put plants, uh, succulents, because succulents only, uh, you can water them once a week or so. And so um, they're gonna really love it up there. So she's eating some grass. Um, yeah, some more grass. Uh, it's like an old teapot that I've had. Actually, yeah, I've had that one for since 2020, I think. It's a teapot and a plant. Then, so then he extended it, so then it goes to the next coop. And the chickens get up here. And at nighttime, when the chickens go to bed, the cats come in here and play and run and jump. And they, because they, they, they tolerate the chickens. I've got compost in there, worms, they lay eggs, 
Yeah, usually there's a hen in there laying an egg. Let's open this up so you guys can get in. Excuse me, excuse me, that's their dirt bath. They get plenty of sun. It's really pretty. So, of course, I got some cat art to show that that's the catio. And then they get sun and they get shade. So, it's pretty high up. And she, Olivia is happy that I can't get to her. And then we've been playing a game. Um, I'll show you. So, that's Olivia's old cat house, but the chickens actually use it. We've got food for them there. Um, so we just stick our, put a little feather here and then Olivia goes crazy. What are you doing, Mama? And the, the chickens, they just want to be, they just want to be with, with you. They want to know what, what do you have to, for them to eat? Um, and there's Rooster. Again, if we put him in here, the, the, the hens will, the roosters will beat him up. Rooster. But if we put them all out in the yard, somehow they're fine. Make it make sense. So we came through the gate. Some of these, oh my goodness, you're out. Oh my goodness, they're out. These two are, maybe they're done roosting. It's been a couple months. They're never out. This petunia, I'm sorry, shares here and then petunia is scratching. One, two, three, four, five, six, yep. I don't have to get you guys out? Are you done? Motherhood? Is it over? Huh? Are you just going to come and eat and go back? So, we're going to make this a dirt bath for them. They need a dirt bath. I'm going to dig some worms. These are potatoes that are growing and the girls are eating. They're, they're eating the leaves, um, which is nice. So, this is the addition. Um, there she is. So she yet jumped and so they get plenty of exercise. Jim's going to extend it more. He's going to make another level here so they can go down and then up again. And this is awesome because it's um, keeping the squirrels, they were, they're making holes up on the top of the netting and getting in and stealing the food. So this, so the cats are going to keep the squirrels out. And I think the squirrels might be stealing the eggs. So that's gonna be a deterrent. It's also entertainment because the birds land on, on this enclosure. So now the cats get so excited, you know, the crows and the ravens, and it just really is entertainment for the cats. Like, you know, she thinks she's outdoors. And so if you look up Catio on YouTube, you'll see and they can get down here. They have, you know, little steps to, to jump down. And then she has to climb back up. Well, yesterday was the first day they went up and down this, the cats, and they slept so good. And um, so here she's gonna, so it's really good exercise. She's just really giving the demonstration. Um, and Tunya, and then there's the other ones. now. You know, you may ask, why don't I just have one big chicken area? Well, that would have been great and all. Why, you know, why do we have the divide here? But the thing is, is this rooster, little miniature rooster, um, Napoleon Bantam, he's a Bantam rooster. He is the little guy and he picks fights with Noah rooster and Red rooster and Blackjack rooster. So, and then if one of those hens ends up over here, these girls will beat beat her up or vice versa if one of these hens goes over there it's like a, they'll they'll beat they'll beat her up it's like a schoolyard you know and so jim and i care about our animals so this is why we had it built this way um and so it's work if i feed that that group over there i've got to feed this group and so yeah so my thing is when on days off, I get to play with the plants and add more plants and add more greenery and um, but um, and the baby bird that we rescued on June 1st, she went to the beautiful sanctuary in Santa Cruz yesterday. So that's a huge load off of me. It's 
Are you going to go back up to sit on the fake eggs, huh? Oh, there she goes. Yeah, we're giving demonstrations. And they get real poofy because they're um, in that... They want to be moms, so they, they get real protective. And um, I, I almost don't want to let her out the door here. I want her to climb back up. and she like, re But I can't get her with Olivia with one hand. Um, you want to go out the door with Mama? Okay, go out the door with Mama. And Lucy always wants to be around me. There's Lucy. Always want, don't, don't pick me up, Mom, but just, um, you know, come on, Olivia, come on. Let's go. So if Lucy actually went to the other side, they'd beat her up. But actually, she's kind of a, she's kind of ghetto. Like, she'll beat them up, actually. Um, anyways, it's a long video. But um, th these are called rooster. Um, it's a rooster-like looking plant. And I fluffed it up yesterday, but they sit on it. And this is not dry. This is the way it's supposed to be. I watered it yesterday. So I'm going to, so Olivia, <laughs> She's so happy. You, I can tell. She's so happy that Daddy made her the shelf so she can get up and climb. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then, again, they have their roosting areas, so they love to get up. And, um, yeah. So that's it. So we'll, we'll go ahead. I'm shocked that she's down there with the chickens, like, you know, because they, they tolerate the chickens. So, anyways, um, so I love to sit here and just enjoy a cup of coffee, and then I get started with my day. And now I get to spend, like someone called it, my little piece of heaven. I get to spend time with the Lord, and I'm excited now that the baby bird is is off and gone, and. Um, and I get to just relax. And Rooster, he crowed and crowed and crowed this morning. So hopefully he got it out of his... Hopefully he got it out of your system, Betty. And he gets his peanuts every day. He gets peanuts. And if I throw him the peanuts, he looks at me like I'm from Mars. So I have to... I have to... Um, I have to uh, shell his peanuts for him. I'm saying, what? What? You hear that in the forest? So the squirrels are just going nuts in the forest all over the trees they're just it's so beautiful to hear them so he gets sun he gets shade but he stays down he doesn't want to be up so yeah so there you go that's the tour and we'll call it a night <laughs>